Alrighty, exciting moment. Okay, first up we have gloves. Ooh. All right, they're unclipped. I'm gonna make sure they fit my hands. Oh, Jesus. Oh, there's another area that I have to undo the tightness of. There's so many parts to these gloves. Like, god damn. Okay. All right. All right, I'm feeling these. They fit well. And there's this, ow. <laughs> there's a knuckle protector. I don't know if I want to put both on right now because I gotta walk where I like soon, but gloves fit well. I think this shade of pink is a little darker than my jacket. Maybe I'll put on the whole set later on today to show you guys, but gloves fit well. These are an extra small and I have porn hands. In case people have never paid attention to the size of my hands, my hands are tiny, so take these off now. Okay, here we have my helmet. It is a Shoei, the brand is Shoei, and it is a size medium. Uh, I think the smallest size is only a small, there's no extra small. And I think it's gonna look very sick. So this is the one I got. It's a graffiti design style one. Um, I mean, so the thing that I really wanted to focus on is making sure that it had like some sort of pink in it. It does have a good amount of design on it. A uh, top view. Side. All right, so I kind of lied and <laughs> man, there's always like some extra space at the end of the gloves because my hands are too small. And another thing that I kind of had feeling was that the pink doesn't match. I don't think it's the same shade of pink as this one either. Cause look, it's like, <laughs> they're all different shades of pink. <laughs> I don't think it matters very much, but uh, well, kind of similar. I do like the pink on this jacket the most, just because light pink looks really nice. I think the dark is eh. I'm also not sure if I want to tuck in my gloves or wrap it with the jacket. I prefer this just because I hate bulk and I think that the jacket is gonna scrunch up if I try to like stuff it in the glove and I really hate stuff that are like scrunched up and stuff. I'm gonna take off the gloves first. Honestly, man, these gloves tend to feel very, uh, they're always not easy to take on and off, but. All right, so for the helmet, Man, I freaking love this helmet. I think it's so, oh, it's so beautiful. And actually today on my way home from work, I was so, so tempted to go to the store, but they closed at seven and I was driving home at six. So by the time I got there, it would be 6.30. And I don't think it's very pleasant to, you know, buy a motorcycle, do something exciting when you're kind of in a rush with the store closing or something. But, um. Let me take this front thing off. This extra thing. Okay. Let's see. Oh. So this front area up here, I believe this helps to let in air, helps with the airflow. And then this one down here also, you can open and close it. I assume in 
San Diego weather, I will always let the air flow through. And then back. Hmm. I'm not certain about this back one here. It does seem like it's probably also for um, airflow or something like that. I could probably read the manual later. But something that I actually do want to get later is a Bluetooth system. So a lot of them sell Bluetooth with an obvious microphone because a lot of people ride you know, in groups and stuff, so they need to communicate. But I just want Bluetooth for music. <laughs> I've tried in the past to just wear earbuds or I, I do have a, that Bluetooth one that I use for walking ride live, but I feel like the helmet is a really tight fit. So when you slide it on your head, if there's like anything kind of slightly bulging out of your ear, it's going to get knocked out. And then putting it in your ear while the helmet is on is really difficult because the fit is very tight. Um, it hugs your cheeks. There's like no space really in the helmet to put stuff on. So I'm going to put this on again. Let's see. I always have to force it down because it's such like you can't just like slide it. I feel like I need more like just like squish it down. But this fits very nicely. Oh, actually something I used to have an issue with is this would fog. But that was when I would be like riding in the morning when it's cold. The shield fogging might be like a helmet specific thing. So if it's designed well, it might be less likely to fog. I've only had like... <laughs> Puffers. I've only had like one previous helmet before this, which is also a Shoei, but it was the Quest one. So it was like cheaper by maybe 150. So I don't know if this one is like next level that it doesn't fog very much. I guess I'll have to see that for myself, but I think this all like matches very nicely. And <laughs> Ugh. so to be honest, I've been a little bit nervous thinking about riding again just because it's been it's been years and also some of those fears that I had when I first quit about other riders about other drivers causing me um, accidents still kind of freaks me out but I do think that if I do plan on getting it on Saturday I'm going to take it out ride it around um, I might be daring enough to just like take it right out on the highway because I remember for the longest time I wasn't riding on the highway in New Jersey and then when I decided to take it out on the freeway it was really no big deal and actually the freeway does tend to be safer than regular intersections because you're all going in one direction so the main thing that you have to watch out for are people merging in from the right and just maybe like other idiots on the road that are trying to move through the lanes and don't see you so that's <laughs> riding a motorcycle is like bringing Riley out into the world. You have to be extra attentive to make up for other people's mistakes. So that's such a downside, but oh. I should put this on Milo's head, but he's going to like get squished. I should try it anyways. <laughs> 